Deep in this mangrove forest, there's no escaping the feeling of serenity that comes from being within nature's embrace. It is easy to forget. This is a man-made forest, one that sprang and grew from the primeval human impulse to turn to nature for one's basic needs. A place where people once pursued their own different dreams and yet marched to the same drumbeat. United on common ground. As far as anyone can remember, the island of Banagon, located seven kilometers north of Getafe in Bohol, had always been sparsely vegetated, with only a few mangroves dotting its shoreline. Until 1957, when a local resident, the late Eugenio Nongdencho Paten, idly watching fishes gather near a mangrove tree to feed, had an inspired thought. If more mangroves were to grow in the shallow waters surrounding the island, would more fish come to shore for fishers to catch? In my Nadungan, 1957, nga wala pa itanong din he, gamay ra. Katong akong ugangan, iyang isulayan kung maayo ba ang tobo. Unya, pagtanaw niya sa iyang gitanong permero, maayo man o tobo. Uh, In-encourage yun ng uh, kapatid niya na natutubaw sa Bureau of Forestry na magtanim. So ang aim lang nila kasi noon, uh, pag ito'y lumaki, may lang silang maharvest. So nagpadayon siya sa pagtanong. Hangtod nga ng Agnesia o iyang mga kumpare, mga kaila nga mananum tagbakaw kay maayo rasad na sa atong mga kanakan. He planted a 500 square meter area near his house, growing sturdy mangrove trees that were 9 meters tall and evenly spaced. Soon the trees gave him firewood and poles to build his house. The poles he didn't use. He sold to friends who constructed houses and fish fences, as well as to bakeries in need of firewood. Ginagawa nila ng pang-repair ng kanilang bahay. No, hindi na sila bumili ng kahoy sa mainland para uh, igawa ng kanilang bahay, kundi galing lang sa uh, bakaw. Soon as they saw the benefits Nong Denshong and his family reaped from their mangroves, more and more people began to plant their own trees. The plantation fever slowly transformed the island's coast into the teeming 484 hectare mangrove forest that it is today, the largest of its kind in all of Asia. Rows upon rows of healthy mangroves now line the famous Badens Pass, the living legacy of a man who, in one inspired moment, literally began to alter the face of an entire island. Ironically, while Nung Denshong and his neighbors were expanding their plantations, large areas of mangrove forests were being clear-cut across the Philippines in a misguided effort to spur economic growth through the massive conversion of mangrove areas to aquaculture and other uses. The anticipated growth did not happen. Many aquaculture ventures failed, fish ponds were abandoned, vast tracts of mangrove areas were left bare and barren, 
and small fishers began complaining that they were catching fewer and fewer fish. In time, measures were installed to protect the country's remaining mangrove forests, including Banacon's thriving plantations. In 1984, the government declared a mangrove swamp reserve that included Banacon as a wilderness area. To the mangrove planters' dismay, their island's new status prohibited them from harvesting wood from their plantations. Uh, parang hindi rin uh, fair sa kanila na sila ang nagtanim. Tapos pag lumaki na, hindi na nila pwedeng harvest. Uh, dahil sa nilagar ditong wilderness area. While majority opted to sell propagules or mangrove seeds to neighboring islands in Visayas and Mindanao, others resorted to cutting trees clandestinely, selling them at lower prices just to earn quick, or sold live trees so as not to risk being caught cutting. the mangrove planters began to realize they could more effectively represent their interests if they acted as a community. They had always shared the same aspirations, and they all depended on the same resource. Yet it was the first time they would consciously work together. Ang kaibahan noon ay hindi, hindi ganong participative yung mga tao uh, ngayon, uh, year 2005, uh, very participative na yung ano, mga tao dito. Then, sa ngayon, empowered na sila. Sila na mismo ang nagbabantay sa kanilang kalikasan. Their most urgent goal, to regain access to the resource that had long supported them and their families. Under Philippine law, Foreshore land, including mangrove areas, cannot be privately owned, but individuals and community organizations can apply to government for the privilege to use them. Government grants such privilege through various legal instruments, including the CBFMA. Community is Forest Management Agreement. Ito yung agreement between the uh, people's organizations and the Department of uh, uh, yung sa DNR na ito po ay uh, mayroong 25 years at saka renewable for another 25 years. Ito, ito yung uh, itong CBPME, yung 10-year real instrument ang uh, magbibigay ng uh, kalagahan sa kanilang uh, mga ginagawa yung sa PO na side, yung sa kanilang pagtatanim, uh, uh, pag-alaga, at saka yung pag-develop nila sa kanilang uh, mangrove areas. The promise of finally securing their rights to the plantation gave Banahon's mangrove planters renewed hope. It was a show. By the turn of the millennium, with the help of the Coastal Resource Management Project, or CRMP, of USAID and DENR, the Banacon Fishermen and Mangrove Planters Association was registered with the Department of Labor and Employment, which paved the way for their qualifying for a CBFMA. CRMP also assisted the planters with management planning for the zoning of Banacon. In 1999, upon endorsement of their zoning plan by the Protected Area Management Board, the island was rezoned so that all mangrove plantations would be placed under a multiple use zone. And finally, in 2004, the CBFMA was awarded to the mangrove planters of Banagon, making official their claim on the mangrove trees they planted and nurtured for many years. Today, 
with assistance from the World Bank funded community based resource management project the planters are drawing up a resource management framework for DENR's approval the document details their plan to continuously replenish any trees they harvest from their plantation sila mismo ang bumuo ng a uh, sustainability plan. Doon nakalagay lahat yung mga lahat ng mga gagawin ng PO para pag-sustain sa pag-manage uh, ng ating uh, uh, kalikasan. Once the plan is completed and approved, the planters may be granted the privilege to once again harvest wood from their plantations. Once more, their future will be in their hands. For Banakon's mangrove planters, this will be a new beginning. One they face without fear. Knowing they continue to share the same aspirations, aware of their newfound strength as a community, and confident in their collective resolve to remain united on common ground.